Anyway, we have a game pretty close to the end, I think. Okay, I should return to Lodge and tell them what I have learned about the unity. What's going out? By the way, I know the truth. <laughs> Boys and girls, I know the truth. Have we all, all buried, buried Sarah? Yes. Mateo told us about your pilgrim's voyage. Okay. You found it, didn't you? The meaning of unity. Well... The center of the multiverse will be building the way to it. Wait. Say that again? Multiple universes? Uh, well, it's, it's possible. You can't possibly mean what I think. Well, but it's scientifically it the proven. One. But the big bombshell of what we're actually building here might need another second to sink in. <laughs> Want to go over this whole multiple universe thing for everyone? Yes, I wouldn't mind a little more detail. I met the version of Sarah. She told me that Unity create, creates the Starborn. Think, I, think I, and they can cross universes. Explains why the Starborn want the artifacts so bad. Get them all and you've got a gateway to infinity. I don't even want to think about the physiological changes you'd need to travel between universes. Plus what it would do to the mind? Enlightenment? Or oblivion? Like the hunter. You have the opportunity to reach the closest thing to your god that might exist. And you're second guessing it? One doesn't approach the afterlife without some trepidation. Point here. This is our mission to go into an unknown. You're right. We have to see the unity for ourselves. You know it. Now once everyone's head stops spinning from all of this, we can get back to work. Uh, not to make a sharp turn in a grand tale, but I got the eye fixed up. Bruised, but still blinking. Let me know when you're ready to follow up on what it's seen. Okay. So... Let's go to the gather. They, they, they took the whole multiverse thing pretty pretty well, I have to say. It's been quieter around here ever since Vladimir went to live on the eye full time. Okay, Vladimir has something to say to me. These last glimpses from the eye are from the farthest fringes of known space. Could be the only remaining pieces outside the hands of the Starborn. Catch a smile out there. Freya the Obram one. safe return to the lodge. No, please, the other. Want to do it again, just for fun? No? We could use a vacation. If you're feeling generous, you could help us out. Or we could just dust your ship. Now we can dock and shoot everyone <laughs> in inside that ship. So you can you can do a bit of space piracy. The ship is now docked. Perfect. Okay, that's that's where we came. Kill the crew or leave the ship. Okay. Oh, 
Also, I should probably use my skills, powers, reactive shield. Works well. Spacers come. Take over the show, okay. It, it was all. New ship for us. If if we cared. Which we might might not care actually. Advanced shock troop spacesuit. I, I need to check check this out. So it looks like this, and well, it's very <laughs> very very good armor. Might might actually give that to one of my followers. Harvested organs. Uh. What's new? This is amazing. Okay. The, the, the unity, the multiverse, this is everything and more, literally. No kidding. Think of the dissertations, boundless topics, no bounds, except the books, they're bound. This explains so much though. They're disorganized, petty, weird, and also deeply fascinating at the same time. Because they are just people. We never rule yep. that out, but it feels so good to know we weren't fighting against robot alien ghost gods or something. True. We need to approach this critically and carefully. We can't just jump in. Or... I mean, we could, I guess, but it all comes back to this. We don't know what will happen if you enter the Unity. You might lose yourself or become a two-headed space shark. There are too many variables. Two-headed space vampire or something. What? No. I just have to go back and forth about it for a while first, and then I'll be completely fine. It's just part of my process. Of course, at the end of the day, it's your choice. But I will say this. Our entire purpose in Constellation is to explore. Why would we stop now? I'm with you. I'm not going to hold you back. But if you, you know, become <laughs> evil or whatever, I'm also not going to have your back. <laughs> become, became evil Anytime, or whatever. The possibility of turning evil aside... <laughs> I appreciate you taking the lead on this. You're guiding Constellation to new frontiers, new discoveries, and we should all follow your example. Uh, on that note, there's something else I'd like to discuss with you, if you have time. It's not on the scale of entering the Unity, but it is tangentially related. Thanks. <laughs> this has been swirling in my brain goo for a while now. Yeah, I can see that. So, I've been pondering over what's happened and what it all means. And I've got a favor to ask. A teensy weensy favor. About the size of a plank length, really. Uh... I think it's time I joined you in the physics bending powers business. <laughs> See if one of those temples works for more than just you. Marvelous. 
I'm glad you're as gung-ho about this as I am. <laughs> as it so happens, I've already talked to Vladimir. Seems our eye in the sky is back up and running. He sent me the coordinates for the temple already. We just have to visit. So we hey, need to um, find the... Uh... Well, you're not busy? Let's chat. I'm all ears. If you Let me carry busy. that. So super, super powerful Barrett, right? because he's already touched the artifact and and ac actually has a has a got got a vision. So so he's he's kind of we, we know that it's it's going to work with him, Barrett. Uh, distance over there. Yeah, Mark One eyeball works. I thought with Barrett. Okay. A uh, while ago. You Help me out when I was captured by the Crimson Fleet. That's ancient history. I just wanted to say thanks for having my back. It's good to be part of a team, isn't it? To be part of something so much bigger than any one of us. So many things can go wrong out there. Working with people you can trust is important. And that's why I've been in Constellation so long. It's good to have people who will help out when you're in a jam. Uh, just wait till we get matching shirts and start having official cookie days. Yeah, I haven't, I haven't actually inter interfaced a lot with Barrett. Days are out of the question then. Because I'm, I'm kind of waiting the. Don't worry, I'm just joking. New game plus, so much more where I could actually focus on certain, wish. certain other Constellation missions. Constellation has its ups and downs. It can be hard. Trust me, I know. When times are tough. Sometimes it's important to reflect on our accomplishments. What you're doing here with us is remarkable. Truly. Constellation is brighter because of you. Just figured I'd mention it, since we haven't had much time to chat before. You know, being a member of Constellation has given me a lot of opportunities. And a fair bit of stress, I'll admit. It's hard to imagine just who I'd be had I never joined up. I would have never done so many things, met so many people. It's mind-boggling how different I would be. And I never would have met Irvin. Or lost him, I suppose. Irvin Madani was my husband. Ah, uh, okay. He was also a brilliant biologist who joined Constellation a couple of years before me. Yeah, so he's gone now. <laughs> I... I remember his bright smiles when I returned from my trips. <laughs> wow, more brilliant than any star. That's right. We can't know the consequences of the choices we never made. And anything beyond that is imagination alone. But for the choices we made, it feels just a bit closer, doesn't it? Irvin's been gone for over 20 years. Strange how memories can pop up when you least expect it. Yeah, don't worry. Logically, I know I should be over it. But I'm not, and it's gotten worse lately. I've ignored my feelings about Irvin's death since it happened. It's time for me to confront it. I'm just fortunate that Constellation has been a supporting home for me since Irvin died. I mean, where else would I get to dodge space pirates and discover new planets? On that note, I think I'd do well to distract myself with a little adventure for a bit. I know now isn't the best time, but I need to talk with you later. See, this is why I signed up with Constellation. This moment right here. To, to get superpowers.
doorways over here, so... if it's Barrett who should be collecting these. Hello, universe. Is this is Barrett. Get back to the stars. Turning your call. What in the? Who in the? Whoa. Hello, handsome. You got to be joking. Nope. Huh? Okay. Skipping the initial <laughs> shock of it all. Agreed. Not worth it. Forming a hypothesis. Hmm. Okay, who's the evil one? You know, my captain asked the same thing. Different captain, though. So you aren't an exact facsimile. From my readings, you don't have your appendix. And you're a quarter of a centimeter taller than me. Minor differences, but fascinating. I wonder what else is different. Molecular binary schism? Temporal twinning? Group hallucination? Don't forget the fluctuations in the energy patterns, which align almost deterministically. Harmonized vibrations, distorting some mechanical barrier between neighboring universes? Impossible to know with such a minute subset of readings. We need more data. Obviously. Yeah. <laughs> Why stop that too? Oh no. It won't work. The energy required increases exponentially per anomaly. Good to know. I'm already exhausted. In a way that's hard to describe. N not physically or mentally, but something else. Sorry, friend. You'll feel right as rain when I dissipate. Whoa, there. Sustaining this connection requires a lot of concentration. Is this permanent? You will eventually monitor the energy fluctuations and agree. But no, this is unusual. I could study this forever. Urban told me to just enjoy it and collect data on the side uh. of the and I'm glad I did. Irvin? He's with you. He's... okay? By the tone of your voice, I'm gathering some things in our lives might be a bit different. Is he... is he happy? Yes, he is. 
Our daughter pilots the ship after Vasco was destroyed. But otherwise, we've survived the war well. Tavor. Going on 20 years now. But we're starting to turn the tide. Imagine all of the variations. It's endless. Oh, man. I only hope the new one we're building is just as salty as the last one. I have so many questions. I wonder how many paths I've taken. We've taken. How many variations. How many ended with heartache and how many with joy. I think about that all the time. Wait. What's that noise? Starborn ship. What happens for any of us? I don't think it works that way, though. Maybe I'm just a construct or a memory. I don't know. But I don't feel pain. Good to know. <laughs> okay. We can handle this. On it. Yeah, there's a starborn ship. Oh, that's a parrot. Number one. Uh, something happened. Uh, I can't hold on to you. I'm struggling. Being pulled through the barrier. This is probably it, friends. Amon son. Cherish every moment with them. I already do, my friend. I promise. So look, for the record, I am the same Barrett that came here with you. For sure. I think. I think. Is the ship my secret lair then? I guess? I would have preferred something with more seating. And maybe a fireplace. Something cozy. Oh well. Hey, at least I didn't pull an army of knees out of thin air, right? <laughs> <laughs> Imagine that. True. How would I stand out in a crowd made entirely of myself anyway? Anyway, it's a relief, you know. I have this ability, this power. And I'm still just... me. He says superpower is... he. I already feel like himself. it's exciting. Okay. I no longer feel like I'm in a huge crowd. I thought so too. Other me, other Barrett, seemed like he was able to handle himself well in that fight. Anyway, we'll see. If the other me gets in the way, I can just release him or stop using the power entirely. For now, I just need to use this power a bit and digest what all has happened. I lost my Irvin. I know that. I wish beyond anything that he appeared in that temple instead of me. But it helps to know there's an Irvin out there somewhere living a life full of love with someone like me. I can move forward with that thought in my heart. Every, everyone in Constellation have lost someone. That's that's kind of binding, binding them together. That's pretty exhausting, really. So I might only do it when I feel like we could use backup. For now, anyway. There is no one I would rather see right now. So... We finally have all the answers. And yet here I stand, feeling like I understand even less than I did before. This talk of the unity of a, a multiverse? Dead friends appearing again? It is all simply too much. And you think it is just that simple? It would seem to me that verifying this is much like verifying the idea of an afterlife. 
If this is all true, as the Starborn say, then passing through the unity will allow one to know the truth. But whomever does that will then never be able to report that truth back to the rest of us. What good then does it do us? Only because they claim it does. We must take them at their word, or enter this unity from which there is no coming back to find out for sure. What if none of it is true? What if it is all some kind of trick? Or perhaps even worse. What if it is true? And none of us ever sees the others again. Yeah, that, that's a risk. Even if everything the Starborn have said is true, if you pass into this unity and come out in... in some other universe, look at who they are. At what they have become. They have the faces and voices of people you know, but are nothing like them. Are you not at all worried that the same fate would befall you? That you would become someone unrecognizable to the rest of us? about unity or is it about us it not be about both we have been through a great deal together if you go into this unity we have no idea whether we would ever see each other again or if we did would we be the same different versions of ourselves somehow that is not a risk I think I wish to take now you sound like Sarah but you are not wrong I will do my best to assume the best, but you cannot blame me for preparing for the worst. We should get back to it. Now that we know what to work towards, there's no time to waste. Yep. Good, good points there. Okay, so there, there is a, definitely a cave. There's going to be probably an, an ambush. So we are going to go inside and see what's here.
This is why we need those healing packs. Heavy damage. New, new Okay. Refined pacifier. Okay, that's a gun. but in a way that is reassuring. Suggest they know what they are doing. Do not worry about me. Go ahead and go. Step forward. Scan is clear. One moment. Attention all. I am declaring a cordial. All sections are now on lockdown. Senior staff, protocol Delta. Use up. There. Be right with you. Sus. Really suspicious. They have stun weapons over there. That, that's pretty normal, I suppose. Ethan Hughes, Chief of Security. If you'll follow me, I'll show you to the director. This is Martian. Kaya Patel, our administrator and research director. 28 years in quantum particle physics, or so I'm told. It's beyond me. We're a small research station in the middle of nowhere. Pirates eat places like this for lunch. It is my job to make sure that we are not on the menu. We'll take the back way up. Maria Curie. Here's the staff. 
no chief engineer. Here, you can see our lovely storage area. <laughs> Don't touch anything. So, our uh, Okay. What just happened? What the? Easy! Easy! What the hell was that? What are you talking about? One minute you're following me, and then you're just gone. Minute later you pop in out of nowhere looking like you were in the middle of a fight. In our storage room. I should have never let you inside. What is this? Some kind of stealth tick? Who are you working for? Look, I don't know what's going on. Let's get you to the director. Maybe she can figure this out. Come on, this way. Okay. Huh? Who's there? Oh, oh, thank God. Finally, someone came. The distress signal. You picked up the distress signal, right? It's been so long. I'm out of food. Out of water. But I made it. I... Wait. How did you get in here? Hughes? Ethan Hughes? But... He's dead. No. No, no, no. This doesn't make any sense. Unless... The accident... Maybe... Maybe this is a side effect of the accident. If the probe is still feeding power to the Let's distortion, go. then... Right. Sorry. Three months ago, I was calibrating an experiment in our high-energy research lab. There was an accident. An explosion. It caused a gas leak. Sparked a fire. I was trapped in the control room. There was nothing I could do. They're... They're all dead. An artifact? You mean... The metallic ob... Just disappear! We should! Wait. He's back. All right. We're on our way up. He was out. I was just filling in the director. Let's keep moving. Let's go. This way. If anything happens, the director's office is on the second floor, end of the hall. You can't miss it. Good to know. Okay, there's lots of animals. Okay. Way. Come on. Director? Thank you, Ethan. Come in. 
Kaya Patel, research director. And this is our chief scientist, Maria Hughes. Ethan said you disappeared right in front of him. Twice. Hughes is a female. Times? Director, <clears throat> you can't be taking this seriously. Look, I don't know who you are or what you're doing here, but there has to be a rational explanation for all of this. An artifact? You mean the source of the distortion? No, we don't. Enlighten us. The multiverse? Other universes? You're right. This is well beyond anything we were prepared for. And you have some connection with them, then. Interesting. I wonder if that's why this is only affecting you. That is quite a claim. What makes you think that? Tell us about this other universe. Raphael? Raphael died in the accident. He... Wait. Another accident. The leak? Director, there was a hydrogen leak right after the accident. It was contained in a minute or two. But if it hadn't been, it could well have caused an explosion. Another universe, though. That's a lot to swallow. This facility and the research level two kilometers beneath us were built to study a gravitational distortion. This artifact and the field it creates. Uh -huh. okay. Three months ago, our chief engineer, Raphael, was calibrating an experimental probe when something went wrong. We still don't know what happened. There was a series of explosions, and somehow, it's still running. That would make sense. That's why the field strength keeps increasing. We have a control unit for the probe. After the accident, I tried to use it to shut down the system, but the kill switch isn't responding. We could shut it off manually, but the entire research level is locked down. We can't even get down there. What you see here are just our living quarters. Most of this facility is deep underground. We have a particle accelerator and extensive research and development labs. Or we did. How? I told you the research level's locked down. We can't even use the damn elevator. What? Clever. In this other universe, Raphael survived. He made it back from the lab. So clearly, his elevator works. Take it. And you might be able to shut down the experiment. This is crazy. But first, we have to do something about your shifting. Maria, do any of the other controls still work? Could we adjust the particle sampling rate? Or the beam voltage? You can't be serious! We have no idea what we're doing! Crazy science! This thing is already tampering with space-time. If this gets any worse... It may also get worse if we do nothing. Right now, this seems to be our only path forward. <sighs> All right. It's worth a try. Then it sounds like we have a plan. Come with me. The control unit is in the fabrication lab next door. Okay. We'll take the coffee mug. Video screams seem to seem to be working. Any key cards I could take? Incident report.
So basically the whole place is now alien hive. And the ceiling caved in, and... and... Uh, I thought I'd finally lost it. What? How? Look, if you think things are bad up here, the research level is even worse. I barely made it out, and that was months ago. I don't understand any of this. If I hadn't seen you disappear with my own eyes, I wouldn't have believed it. I... Okay, okay. You're my ticket out of here. We'll do this your way. We can get out through the pantry. Here's the key. I'll back you up, I guess. Stop stopping power is, is great, but... Holy what the...? What? Security you... breach! Go! Everybody Go! Out. For it. out of my way! Let's bring something to eat to that stranded scientist. Unlocked elsewhere. Okay. Security breach. Well, <laughs> that, that's the most logical thing to say when somebody. Hey, I have got Keep food, food for you. Keep it together. I'm not sure. It might stop whatever's happening to you. It's a reasonable theory, I guess. Probably you die. They're a native species. We had an electric pulse field to keep them out. Uh. Fire took out the generators. Damaged the foundation. They just keep coming. I was in the lab, working on the frequency calibration for the probe. I was walking out of the control room when it happened. I heard the tanks rupture. The alarm sound. I only had a second to react. I jumped back into the control room. The doors sealed. I was safe. From the gas, the fire, everything. But I was trapped. There was nothing I could do to stop it. If I had gone the other way, maybe I could have made it to the ventilation controls. Killed the system. Even if it killed me. I don't know. I don't want to think about it. So that's what happened to another Raphael. Look at this. It's going to take hours to clear this out. Assuming the rest of the building doesn't come down on top of us. How should I know? You're the one who keeps winking <laughs> in and out of existence. I just want to get out of here. Go do whatever you're going to do. I'll see if I can clear a path to the door. Get to the lab. What? I... Oh, it's you. You realize you just popped into my locked office. So much for security protocols. Uh, sure. Down the hall. Take the stairs next to the atrium. Yeah, let me get the doors for you. And done. Is there anything else you need? I need something to fight the Cataxi on the other The Cataxi in the other universe. Aha. Uh -huh. Wow. <laughs> I've got an experimental thing one of the engineers put together. But... Uh, you really don't have anything better to do? That's typical. Try to be nice to someone and they treat you like a pushover. Look, 
I'd like to help, but... Don't get ahead of yourself. I never agreed to anything. Sorry, I have to keep it on hand, just in case. You understand? Ah! Uh, yes, Kataxi. Nasty things. The original survey team ran across them. You're welcome to read the old logs if you want. Yeah, I'll unlock the terminal for you. Bigger than you'd expect. We've got a particle accelerator, whole lab complex, the high energy research lab. Real state of the art. Can't tell you what a tenth of it actually does. That's right, has been since the accident. We can't connect to the control system to override it. The whole system's on a hair trigger. Cameras spot anyone not in the staff database. They fire off an alarm and all hell breaks loose. What, did you get lost in the hallway? Uh, kind of. Uh, <laughs> She's not right. behaving us. This is the probe control unit. Most of these controls aren't responding. I'm going to very carefully adjust the settings I can. There's no way to tell what's about to happen. Pay attention and be ready for anything. I'll begin by adjusting the energy feed of the electron beam array. We're at 93 terabolts. Calibrating to 95, 97, 100. Ugh, nothing. Let's try the other way. 91, 89. What the? Okay, okay. It looks safe to approach. But what in the world? It's a micro distortion. Flux pattern matches the distortion in the lab. The setting is just exposing it somehow. Hmm. Step into the distortion, please. Nothing. No, hold on. There's a slight pattern change. Some kind of resonance. All right, stay there. Let me turn the feedback up for a moment. Calibrating to 90, 91. Okay, that, that worked. <clears throat> Control unit. Recalibrate the distortion. Okay. What happened? Are you all right? So the lower setting causes the distortions to manifest, and the higher causes you to shift. That seems promising. Keep it on the lower setting until you want to shift, and you should be able to avoid any more accidents. I'd give you my control unit, but it looks like you already have one from the other universe. Love to take a look at that when this is all over. Right? If you can get down to the research level, you need to make your way to the high energy research lab. Disengage the power interlocks, then pull the emergency shutdown to stop the probe. That should finally put an end to all this. Oh, and before you go, the director wanted to speak with you. It really is just down the hall. Yeah, strong, strong maybe. Well then, all set? If you need supplies, I've asked Dr. Barakova to take care of you. It's the least I can do after everything we've put you through. Before you go, there is one other thing we should discuss. If this experiment is the cause of your shifting, when you shut it down, the shifting will stop. Okay. What happens then? To you and to us. It's really in a box to put on down states. Exactly. And when you shut down the experiment, the probability function will collapse. You are the outside observer in the system. Whichever reality you are in, at that moment, is what will become real. 
for you and your universe at least the question is which will you choose yeah this out outside uni uh, observer is is always always needed and it's it's tie into real quantum mechanics which is really freaky subject but yeah uh, Pedersa has been digging really interesting questions here hmm. if this were a choice between my life and Raphael's I would ask you to save him. Yeah, but his uh, but as the universe, many of other station, people are dead. I am responsible for the lives of my staff. 30 people. People with families, careers, futures ahead of them. In this universe. It's not an easy decision, but I am grateful. Thank you. Now, it's time you are going. With the network offline, we can't shut down the security system on the research level, so you can expect some resistance. Be careful. Ethan, unlock the elevator lobby, please. Ma'am, research level is still locked down. I'm aware of that. I... All right. Done. Good luck, dear. It's been a fascinating day. Tatiana Barakova, station's doctor. This is not a public medical facility. But the director has ordered me to assist you nonetheless. I can spare a few med packs. Thank Beyond you. that, I am not your therapist, your psychologist, or your cosmetologist. If there's anything else you need, ask. My journal? Have you been in my quarters? Who do you think you are? The director may have given you run of this station, but I... Wait. Wait. What is this? This entry... It's mine, but... I didn't write this. And the scorch marks... God. Yes. Yes, yeah. I do. I can spare a few more supplies. <laughs> okay. More, more med packs. On anything else you need. Hmm. What happened to you? Here, let me take a look. All right. Dicky pig, I'm okay. Look, look, pig, I'm okay. Okay. Okay, that seems interesting. Elevator seems to be working. The elevator wasn't burnt like everything else is. The security lockdown is active. Emergency override controls are available on designated security terminals. have uh, all security doors open when the fire broke out. That's open. Oh no. Puddle. 
this reminds me of uh, <coughs> Titanfall 2. One, one, one level there. Which had like... Play, player actually infiltrating to, through the use of the two, two different realities. Pretty much the same idea. Also, I should probably use my superpowers. Yeah, let's see. Reactive shield is. Could be pretty useful. Again, safe and lock me. Is their lair? Bucks. I hope there, there weren't any strict order I need to push the buttons. That's a max shield. Okay. What they are doing? Okay, so, but I need to change, save the other people, so I can pull these button, buttons down here. Because if I do, I'm going to save only one guy. And 
con like condemn 30 other people. So, no thanks. Ah, uh, no, that's not them. Oh no. So that robot actually stepped into the laser. Just one button. Now I'm taking damage because... Not one button. Two buttons! Still somebody left or something rather. Very high level. Shut down the probe. Ethan, how are we doing? Research levels back online. Definitely some damage, but it could be a lot worse. We will have to replace a few robots. Yes, well, that's a small price to pay, all things considered. This is a lot to take in. Artifacts, multiple universes. Look on the bright side, dear. Just imagine the papers you'll publish. If anyone even believes this. I am curious, though. Why did you decide to stay here, with us? In other universe you were all dead, that was, this was the better outcome. Maybe so. Still, it must have been a hard decision. Our next supply ship will be arriving soon. I'll have a full report ready for them. For now, 
I'd like to extend our gratitude and what compensation I can offer for everything we put you through. Thank you. This has been a truly remarkable experience. Nice. Beast Hunter. Incider refined experiment on Isida spacesuit. Okay. That's that's pretty crazy. Against corrosive. Poisoning prognosis pure. Where's the doctor? Where's the doctor? Yes, what? Stairs. Again, what do you need? Hmm. I would have thought you were tougher than that. Well, I'm poisoned. Hold still. Have a seat. There. Poisoning cured. That was pretty good. And we got the artifact. Excuse me. 